Hello Dollface, it's Katrina Corruption here, and did you really think that there was only going to be one video featuring me? I am living my dream, I'm living my best emo life, I am so happy to finally be in my ultimate form. And I thought, what is more better to do while you're emo than to talk about emo boys? Because there's nothing more that I love than me an emo boy. Because you guys know how much I do love my Kylo Ren. But before him, there was many others. There was tons of emo band boys that I was faux in love with. And that they stole my heart. And they were all over my Tumblr page. And I have gone through over a thousand pages of my old Tumblr. To get the best results of who were my top ten emo crushes. I wanted to have the most best results of what really was my crushes. I didn't want something that I thought was. I wanted who were actually my crushes, who I blogged about, who I talked about, who I thought were the cutest band boys ever. So without further ado, let's go talk about my top 10 emo crushes. Number 10 is from a band that I talked so dearly about last time, and that was from Pierce the Veil, Vic Vointes. Oh, he is such a cutie. I love his voice. I love his music. I just really love him. I think he is adorable, and I've always just loved Pierce the Veil. Their voice is one of my top favorite emo bands, so he is definitely has to be on this list. At number 9, we have from My Chemical Romance. And no, it's not Gerard Way. No, it's not Frankie Arrow. It's Mikey Way. I was in love with Mikey. I loved how cute he was. I loved his little glasses. He was always my favorite and always threw everybody off that Gerard just wasn't my number one. That I loved Mikey. He was just so, so cute in him. In the Helena video, I will never get over it ever in my life. He was just adorable. I love Mikey. I love glasses. I love nerdy boys. At number eight, we have Adam Lazara from Taking Back Sunday, and you know you're lying if he is not on any of your list because he was a babe. I loved him so, 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 so much. I love Taking Back Sunday. I'm going to be seeing them this summer. Super hype about it. I love them. They just had such good music, such good times, and he was such a cutie. Oh my god, I listen. I could just stare at him all day, honestly, and when they were on Degrassi, I literally died. Like, I lost everything. Oh my god, it was just so good. He was so cute with that bleach blonde hair. Oh, Adam Lazara. Forever in my heart. Forever. At number seven, one that's probably not really well known to everybody nowadays because the band did did stop really early on in the emo career of my life. I love them, but they broke up. And that was from Scary Kids, Scary Kids, Chad Crawford. He he was adorable. He had that long black hair. He was so pale and so cute. And I remember I had this picture of my wall of all of the band and they're like in dog kennels and I never realized that they were actually naked in the uh, in the picture. No one knew. I printed it off at school so like how was I supposed to know they were naked when in school I could print out the picture? Okay, and so I hung it up on my wall and it was all fine and dandy and been there for a year and then one day my aunt came over and she was like we got all these naked boys on your wall. And I'm like, no I don't, there's no naked people. And my mom lost her mind, oh my god. She was like, what are you doing? Why do you have this on your wall? Oh my god, and then they made me get rid of my picture of Chad Crawford looking so, so cute. But oh my god, he was a lovely, lovely emo boy that I, oh man, I love Scary Kids, Scary Kids. I gotta listen to them like right now. At number six, speaking of Degrassi earlier with Adam Lazara, we have good, old, faithful, the only non-band member on this list, Eli Goldsworthy. Oh my god. If you were an emo girl and you said you and you weren't in love with Eli from Degrassi, were you even emo? He was literally just emo goals. He drove a freaking hearse, okay? Drove a hearse, he was KU, he was angsty, he had a Escape the Fate poster on his wall. Yeah, I scream capped it. I was obsessed. I died. Look at that right here. Literally, I loved him. So jealous of Claire. Claire did not deserve Eli, even though I wasn't a Claire shipper or whatever, but like, I deserved Eli. He was so dang cute. And I am thankful that Degrassi added him because I just don't know what my heart heart would do without him. At number five, we have Danny Warsnop from Asking Alexandria. Oh my god, was he fine. <gasps> 
Oh my god, again, I had a giant poster of him wall. He was so cute. I loved Ask Alexandria. I had a get on your knee shirt that I wore all the damn time. Like, they were my band. I was just so obsessed with him. He was such a cutie. Just look at him. And then I remember the whole scandal with the zoo. Everyone puts their dick on the internet. But, oh, God. Danny Warsnop. You. Oh, my God. Right? Like, oh, you know the song. Stand up and screaming. Okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. At number four, we have a staple, a classic, a beauty, the most mega, ultimate, talented, emo singer of all time, Brendan Urie. Oh my gosh, is he an attractive man. I love him. He can do no wrong, no matter what he's wearing, no matter what he's doing, no matter what he's singing. He is just fantastic, and he is so good looking. And if you've seen that Girls, Girls, Boys video, you know exactly all the feelings that you will get from that. Ugh. Just his voice by itself is amazing. His video concepts are amazing. Everything about him is amazing. Brendan Urie, I love you. You are a staple for the emo loves. Speaking of emo staples, number three, we have the very, very good looking Ollie Sykes. Oh my God, he is just, I just can stare at that all day. You know, when I was in high school, I drew this man like 50 times for art assignments. Like, I don't know what it was, but I always, Drew Ollie Sykes. He was so cute. I just loved him. I thought, like, Bring the Horizon was just like, they were the song, they had music for my soul. They were everything. He was so goddamn good looking. I can't even, ugh. And then when Charlie XX had her video out with boys and he was in it at Flipped, I lost it because I was like, there's, there's freaking Ollie Sykes just, just laying there being cute. Oh my god. Also, Brennan Yuri was in that video too. Ugh. So many good voice. Not an emo crush, but Joe Jonas. Okay, we'll stop. But, mm, Ollie Sykes can get it in all his beautiful tattoos and everything. Just, mm, is that's the only way I can explain this. Mm. We are getting down to the wire. We only have two left. And this next one is probably actually the most attractive person I have ever seen in my life. Like, he, he's actually, I think, more attractive than number one. And I just, he, ugh, he's got such a beautiful voice. And he is just so dang handsome. And Juliet Sims is just a lucky, lucky woman because, ugh, Angie Beersack. Just look at him. That face was literally sculpted by gods. That jawline, the everything. His voice. It's just so good. I remember the first time I ever saw him, it was on MySpace, before I even knew he had a band. I think Blackville Brides was still just like this thing he was starting, and he was going by Andy Six. And I commented on his photos, hoping for a PC for PC all the time. But oh my god, he is just such a beautiful, beautiful man, and oh, that voice. If you ever listen to the Mortician's Daughter, like, such a good song, such a good everything. He is just so damn fine. I cannot even, I can't think of words because this man is just literally beautiful. He is beautiful. I, I hope I get to see him in person at Warp Tour this year. Oh my God, guys, this is the last Warp Tour. I'm sorry, it's still hitting me hard. This is the last ever Warp Tour. Warp Tour, why? Okay, I'm sorry. That's done. We'll stop crying about Warp Tour. This is not the topic of the video. I'm still emotional about it. Okay. We need to get to number one. The most important emo crush of all time. The one where if you knew me, you know what I'm going to say. You know because my family had to hear about it. Everyone in the world had to hear about my number one emo love of all time. Because if, honestly, I still get to this day family members asking me about him. This is how obsessed I was. This is how he was my number one love. I had giant posters of him. Everything was so, I had a little mirror. I had a picture of him on my mirror when I got ready so I could see him. He was my phone background. He was everything to me as an emo kid. And I still just, I will never, he will always be my first, first real obsession and first real love. And that is Ronnie Radke. Oh my gosh, was I obsessed. Literally everything. My books, 
were covered in his face. My room was covered in his face. The shirt has his face on it. If I could have his face on it, I would do it. And I would do my blog. I am so sorry for whoever followed my blog from the years that I was emo because that was literally like most of my blog which is pictures and pictures pictures and pictures of him just tons and tons of pictures of Ronnie Radke over and over and over again all these pictures of Ronnie I was obsessed I had never been that in love with someone before his voice was just everything to me his music was everything to me everything that's why I was such a bee about Craig Mavitt I don't care now but back then how dare you even mention that name in front of me? How dare you? That was not, not okay. Now they're bare the hatchet and it's all cool. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Sorry, old cat for being such a bee to Craig Mavitt and saying you would fight him because I really wouldn't. I am not that tough. But you know, when you love someone, you gotta support everything. So when they didn't like someone, you didn't like them, you know? That's just how it is. I am so embarrassing, oh my god. I thought this would be a fun way to include this little emo series and just talk about all the emo cuties that I loved because honestly my taste in men has not even changed that much. I love me an emo boy still. If you got long hair, big nose, and are emo AF, hit me up. I'm single. I don't look like this all the time, but I will love you. I was creepy. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta stop. But yeah, I'm like sad to kind of get rid of this backdrop. You know, it's giving me old vibes of my old room. I just really was having a good time reminiscing and being nostalgic about being emo and talking about cute boys like I used to do. And I mean, I still talk about cute boys, but you know, there's something different when it's your high school emo loves. Being emo is probably one of the greatest things that I ever went through and I am... <laughs> I'm still so nostalgic for it all the time. My friends I hear it all the time about computer corruption. But this was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed me going back down memory lane. And if you want to see Katrina Corruption ever come back, you know, comment down below. Maybe we'll talk about more emo music or just being nostalgic of anything. Alright guys, so comment down below who your emo crushes were because I would love to hear about it and talk about all the cute emo boys that are out there in the world because there were so many more that I could have put on this list but there was only 10 slots and I wanted to be truly authentic to Katrina Corruption and who she blogged about back in the day so all that research I did hours and hours of going through the blog to find the exact top 10 were honestly worth it and it was great because it kind of reminded me of some people that I loved and just little memories. It was a lot of fun. So guys, comment down below. Let's talk about emo cuties and hang out and be super nostalgic. Thank you guys again. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that would be really, really dope. I hope you guys stay lovely. Bye.